pretty great looking morning so far. We are going to stick with the clouds here for a bit longer this morning, uh, but at least you'll enjoy relatively comfortable temperatures, or at least livable temperatures without much wind. Now the downside of that is there's a fair amount of fog and uh, low cloud cover. That's a look from Assisi Heights to the south. We're downtown Rochester with our Lewis Donato camera. Right now it's 21 degrees in the weather patio here in northwest Rochester. The winds very light. In fact, nearly calm. It feels like 21. Air pressure is steady. 30.4 inches of mercury. 19 degrees right now officially at the airport in Rochester. Austin 18. 18 degrees in Charles City. So by seasonal standards, we're doing okay. Just a little bit colder than we were at this point yesterday when we had mostly 20s and we managed to see temperatures uh, stay in the upper 20s for the most part, even with this uh, limited doses of sunshine today. A little more of a south breeze, a little bit after the sun will help us get maybe just a little bit closer to 30 as we start in the upper teens in most spots. Six degrees colder right now in Rochester versus this time yesterday. Austin, seven degrees colder and Winona also a little bit colder as well. Winds are calm right now in Rochester. 19 is the temperature. Wind chill 19, the visibility now officially in the city three miles, but it looks southwestward. A lot of the area dealing with some pretty thick fog. Uh, no advisories in place so far. There are some west of our area, closer to Algona and spots to the west, but for the most part, we're looking at just pesky fog until about 8 30, 9 o'clock this morning. See less than a mile of visibility now in Austin, Albert Lee, Mason City, and in Charles City. So keep that in mind as you head outside. There's going to be some pretty thick fog in a few spots, especially west and southwest of Rochester. A lot of clouds around right now. Satellite radar looking at an area of high pressure approaching. Same situation as yesterday, hoping that high pressure can produce enough subsidence to try to scour out some of those clouds. At this point, we, we had limited sun yesterday. I think we'll have a, a few breaks in the clouds today, but not full scale clearing. We may have to wait for Tomorrow with better dose of more of that uh, gusty wind that will eventually mix things out a little bit and give us a better chance to, to poke some holes in those clouds and certainly less fog concern tomorrow as well. But today, some afternoon limited sunshine temperatures close to 30 uh, tomorrow breezier. Slightly warmer day, but then we get into Thursday. That's going to be the messy one. Chance of freezing rain and, and sleet and then snow. We're looking at the possibility of some accumulation and some powerful winds. That's going to be a concern. We have blowing snow concerns and then Arctic air is going to be blown in on those winds by the uh, that night and for the coming days beyond. But 18 degrees at least for today. Some fog, clouds and a light breeze. Day planner showing all the clouds. Afternoon sunshine, at least in limited form. 27 by around 3 o'clock overall. High temperatures today right around 28, which is pretty close to the seasonal standard. We'll be in the teens through tonight with a, a light breeze. But again, tomorrow a little breezier uh, with that warmer air coming in. Today, light winds keep the wind chill in the teens to even mid 20s. So overall, not a bad day, just not particularly sunny, at least in most cases. High pressure glides to the south and east, moving very slowly. A lot of clouds, maybe a little, little bit of limited late day sunshine uh, tonight. A couple of gaps in the clouds here and there, and then a little more sunshine tomorrow. More of a south wind at times up to 25, 28 miles per hour. So a breezier day. Uh, temperatures in the mid 30s though tomorrow. That'll be the warmest day of the week. Now moving to Thursday. Clouds thicken. In fact, uh, just before we even get to Thursday, around, around 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow night, heading into Thursday, rain and then rain and freezing rain and a little bit of sleet. And by mid morning, we transition to snow with the possibility of uh, maybe even two or three, maybe four inches of uh, snowfall accumulation as the system moves through. And we're looking at that transition to, to snow of right around eight or nine in the morning on uh, Thursday, ending by uh, the evening commute. We're looking at accumu accumulation there. Some gusty winds and then temperatures really bottom out and drop off the, the, the charts really Friday and the weekend and really all of next week as well. So a winter mixture of uh, that ice and then snow on Thursday. I think a couple of snowflakes next Monday, but a pretty minor system there. And watch that jet stream really take a turn to the south. Really cold air coming in for the end of the week and really for the weekend. Really some of the coldest air of the entire season. And by Sunday, certainly that would stand as the coldest. We have not had a sub-zero high temperature, but that is what we're facing over the weekend. 28 today in Rochester, 24 Mesa City. 31 in Winona clouds and maybe a couple of breaks of afternoon sunshine with light southeast winds only around five miles per hour. 16 degrees tonight, light winds, mostly cloudy skies. Seven day forecast breezy, a little milder tomorrow. The wintry mixture on Thursday and then brutally cold weather with at least some sun over the weekend. A week of high temperatures and then very low temperatures. Pretty big swings <laughs> in temperatures, yeah. Thank you.